Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video everyone the Tamamo world boss has been released So we're actually going to be doing some summons as we do on every new update Which will actually be featured on none other than the new flower of justice math that here and as you can see she actually does have the 15 out of 15 summons available on this new sort of guaranteed upon summoning banner for the new unit now actually like i've said before in yesterday's video the justice salome banner will actually be the same as all of the other guaranteed upon summoning banners so only the flower of justice map that is a little different now so we'll be going into the flower of justice map that summon here and hopefully we do get it early on and let's see if we can actually pull out a double here or maybe even better if we do get lucky and alongside after the summons here we'll actually also be claiming the water five star ticket that i do have in my mailbox here as you can see i've been saving it from the calypso's beat the heat reward so we have three days remaining and we might as well claim it now before it expires. So without further ado, let's get started here with the summons and hopefully we can get it early on. I really don't want to waste too many crystals on this summon, but I've actually had seen in the Lisa's mission pass missions that there's actually a reward if you do go past the 10th summon or the 15th you'll actually be rewarded with some crystals as well as her spa skin so i think it's a pretty nice reward if you do manage to be somewhat unlucky and you get towards the 10 multi summon without a flower of justice map that then the game actually pities you a bit and gives you the crystals alongside some of her spa skins and i believe a copy of her as well so hopefully we can get her early on here like i've said before the first multi here nothing really much in this summon we actually got one four star and i believe yes this will be another four star a melfo here to end it off now we'll actually be alternating the summons here and we'll be going through one and then skipping one as we normally do pretty much when we do summon on the channel here so here in the second summon we actually didn't get anything good we got another melfo alongside two other four stars here and we'll be going into the third summon now but anyways everyone feel free to let me know in the comment section below if you did summon for the flower of justice map that and let me know how many copies you got in your summon if you did manage to pick her up from her guaranteed upon summoning banner so to continue on here we have a sorrowful sonette in this summon another blue here hopefully the map that and no, it's an uninvited Rudolph. So not too many crazy pulls so far as we haven't gotten the Flower of Justice map that. We got in quite a few four stars, but no blue has hit a five star pull yet. So let's see if it can change. And yeah, overall everyone, I do think this update is pretty nice as we do have the Tamabo World Boss Trial. And if you guys had noticed, the Flower of Justice map that as well as the Tamamo isn't actually censored so when we had gone over the update note yesterday they actually had the censored arts of the map that as well as the tamamo but i guess they changed their mind during the maintenance and they decided not to censor them which i actually am fine with as i would rather have the uncensored arts so actually here we have the two four stars in this summon so nothing so far we're going into our fifth multi pool so hopefully we can actually get her in this one and not go too deep without a map that. So yeah, they ended up not censoring the Tamamo and the map that, which I'm totally fine with as I really didn't want the map that to be censored so hard as she does look amazing in her normal character art. All right, everyone. So another blue here and no Flower of Justice map that just yet. She's actually taking more than a few multi pulls to summon up as normally I do get the unit pretty quick from the guaranteed upon summoning but this banner has been a little different here as we haven't received her just yet so maybe in the next summon here unless this does manage to be her which it isn't unfortunately it's an El Dorado to end it off so we'll be going into our next multi summon here and hopefully the skip animation does come in clutch as it sometimes does on the channel and let's see here it does so here we go with the new map that's summoned right now and we did get a single copy but none other than the flower of justice map that which i'm totally fine with 
didn't take too many summons, but just a decent amount to get the Flower of Justice map there. So overall, everyone, pretty decent summons on this new Guaranteed Upon Summoning Pickup banner. And as I had said before, make sure to let me know how your summons went on her pickup banner if you did go for her. But now we'll be going into this free 10 times summon multi pool here as we've actually had for quite a few days now and it's honestly a pretty generous event as free summons are always welcome in a game such as Destiny Child and others as well. So first here we start out with a blue, no 5 star out of that blue but hopefully we do get one here in this multi summon as I've actually had some pretty decent pulls from this free 10 times summon pool that they've been giving out daily. So hopefully the luck does continue and we'll see here if it will. So feel free to let me know in the comments below as well if these daily multi summon pools have been coming in clutch for you as we do have another blue here and it is a 5 star and we get a Pantheon. Alright so my Pantheon is plus 6 but like we always say that can go into the House of Reincarnation for another worthwhile unit. So amazing pool there as it is a free 5 star so I'll take it and I'm not too mad about that. And to end it off here we do have a 4 star Fenrir. So that is the free multi pool everyone. Make sure to let me know in the comments section below how your free multi pool went today. And we actually do have 2% more here on the mileage so hopefully we can get a summon here which will probably be only our daily pickup here. So hopefully this ends up being the percent we need to take it over but I really doubt it so hopefully it can be. We actually do have a blue here so potentially a 5 and a no it isn't. It's an uninvited Rudolph so we're actually stuck at the 98% but we'll wait just a bit as I'm actually debating on doing some summons on the Dancer Salome premium pickup summon here. But before we go into that, that will probably be in another video, so stay tuned for that one. And we'll actually be going into the 5 star water summon ticket here, as I've said earlier. So hopefully we can get the new map that out of here, as I do believe she's in this summon pool already. So let's see here, yes she actually is in here, the flower of justice map that at a 4.5% rating. So hopefully we do get her, or an uncap for any unit that we do need. So let's see here how this summon goes. Ideally, a map that would be amazing. And let's see what we get right now. And it's a Flower of Justice map that. So I am actually very happy that I saved this ticket because that is a free Flower of Justice map that from the Calypso's free pools. So amazing pull there. So here we go with the plus one Flower of Justice map that which will help with the world boss trial as well as future events. So an amazing pool to end off the video here on the Flower of Justice map that summons. And if you guys had managed to save your ticket as well, feel free to let me know how your water 5 star ticket went as sometimes as you can see here, it's worth saving up the tickets for future pools. Anyways everyone, that'll be it for today's Destiny Child summoning video. Overall everyone, very amazing pools coming out of today's summons, but make sure to let me know in the comments section below how your summons went for Flower of Justice map that, or any of the other current pickup summons that we have currently going on. But before you go everyone, make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy today's summons and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and are enjoying the Destiny Child content. With that being said everyone, I'll see you all in tomorrow's Destiny Child video. Thank you all so much for watching.